Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Japan. This week we decided to check out Mount Scuba, which makes a good day trip if you like hiking. It's about 100 kilometers northeast of Tokyo. This mountain is about 900 meters high and has two peaks. It's mostly granite, unlike many of Japan's other mountains, which are volcanic. We paid 500 yen for parking by the large gate and then made the short five minute walk to the Tsukuba san shrine. Our hike along the Miyuki Gahara path closely followed the cable car route. The distance we covered was about two kilometers to the top of Mount Nantai, and we spent about two hours on the climb. The slope of the path varied widely, from relatively flat to quite rough. Mostly, you'll have to watch out for tree roots and navigate the uneven surfaces of the mid-sized rocks on the path. There were quite a few impressive trees to be found, with some being as wide around as a small car, and one place we saw a tree sprout out of the branch of another. I considered myself relatively fit, but found myself pretty tired during the final stretch of the seemingly endless stairs. Once you reach the top, you'll find restrooms, souvenirs, food, as well as some nice views of the Kanto Plains. There's a free rooftop viewing platform which may let you see Tokyo, the Sky Tree, and Mount Fuji on the horizon, depending on the weather and visibility. If you aren't up for the climb, the cable car is the option for you. Tickets run about $6 for adults and $3 for children. On a busy weekend, you might have to wait 15 minutes or so for a ride, and the ride itself will take less than 10 minutes. It can be a bit bumpy, so we recommend sitting over standing if possible. Fall is likely the best time to visit as you'll be able to enjoy the colors, but the views of the Kanto Plains should be good year-round. You also might enjoy checking out the temple at the bottom of the hill, or enjoy a dip in a hot spring after a day of hiking. Either way, we think Tsukuba is a great day trip for nature lovers. There's a story that says thousands of years ago, a deity descended from the heavens and asked two mountains for a place to spend the night. Mount Fuji refused, believing itself so beautiful that it did not need the blessings. Mount Scuba, on the other hand, humbly welcomed the honored guest, even offering food and water. So today, Mount Fuji is a cold, lonely, and barren mountain, while Mount Scuba bursts with vegetation and is filled with colors as the seasons change. Ancient stories say that the sacred progenitors of the Japanese race are enshrined here, the male deity at Mount Nantai and the female deity at Mount Nyotai. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and please make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. This has been Inside Japan.